Hi guys, it's Essentially Meg, and welcome back to my channel. A very exciting point in wedding planning, which is picking out my invitations and ordering them. So in order to prepare for this, a lot of printing companies uh, have sample kits that they can send you so that you can get an idea of the feel for the paper and the quality of the printing that they'll provide. So I've ordered a couple of printing sample kits uh, from two of probably the most well-known um, budget wedding invitation printers. There are so many out there and I feel like there's a company that will fit the needs for everybody. So I'll get more into some options that you could take, uh, but first let's uh, take a look at what I've ordered. The uh, first one that I ordered was actually minted. Um, comes in a really nice sturdy cardboard box so you know that it's not going to bend or uh, damage the invitation samples inside. So let's go ahead and open this. So we've got a really nice little box here. It didn't give me an option to input my information into the samples. Uh, so these are basically pre-printed samples that they have in a curated kit that you just ask for and they will send you for free. Uh, some places charge a little bit of shipping, but the sample set should be free whenever you're ordering one of these. You shouldn't be paying to get samples of not your invitations. Before even ordering one of these, I would suggest looking around on the websites of these places and see if their designs appeal to you in the first place. Like, why would you order a sample kit if you know that none of the designs really appeal to you on that website? In this marketing bit, uh, they're showing you a few of the finishes that you can have. So a lot of foil options, some glitter options. And then on the inside, they have a whole bunch of color options, which is really nice because whenever you are looking online at wedding invitations, you want to see what the colors look like in person as opposed to on your screen because your screen could have certain settings to make colors look a certain way and you look at it on your phone and it almost looks like a completely different color. So then you're like, oh my God, which color is the right color? So it's always good to just get this and you can see all the colors in person, what they'll actually look like on your invitation. It looks like it's got a lot of different paper weights and paper fields. We've got the same image printed on all of them, and then you've just got all of these different finishes. And then on the back, you can actually see that they've printed all the colors too, so that you can see the colors uh, that they have their standard wedding invitations on, and you can see how they look on different, uh, different papers. You can just see on the bottom here that those are two different white colors. The museum board has a little bit more of an ivory tone, and the recycled paper is a lot more bright white. This is exactly why you want to order a sample kit from wherever you're ordering invitations from. All right, and now for the actual invitation samples. And then you actually get a 15% off code if you order this sample set. In the marketing materials, it does say that you can have your guests' addresses and your address printed on the envelopes for free, which is a really nice perk because uh, that's kind of one of the biggest chores of wedding invitations is addressing all of these. But if you don't know everybody's address, then this may not be the best way to go about it because then you're going to end up with some envelopes that you're gonna to have to handwrite anyway. Let's look at this first set. So we've got the outside envelope. It's got a nice uh, marbled paper insert, which is a really nice touch. This is really pretty, very pretty. So it's got a little band around it with the initials, you slide the band off, and then we've got the full invitation on some thicker cardstock. Then there is an RSVP card in here as well. And then the other stuff that was in this set is the RSVP envelope. That's nicely printed, although I don't know how well uh, it'll be read <laughs> with the decal on the front. I just try to make it as easy as possible for the postal service to read. So, I mean, the address on here is printed really nicely. And honestly, they don't read the names, but I don't know if that decal up top might throw off the, the reading machine or something like that. I don't know. And we've got a nice thank you card. It's blank on the inside, same kind of heavier paper stock. And it looks like they've got um, place cards that can fold over and <clears throat> Actually, this is done really, really well. It's got that metallic foil on it, so you can see the um, 
the gold flecks and actually the print on the fold is just about perfect. It sits nice and level. I think that this is all a very well done set. Uh, again, this is going to be basically the best that they can do because this is their marketing material. This is what they're sending out to try and get you to buy whatever they're selling. And here is the second set. And this seems to be thicker cardstock. This is almost like that, that double thick paper. Again, a, a nice touch with the uh, metallic foil that's got rose gold on it with that like botanical theme. And then here is one with an iridescent foil on it, which is very minimalist, but it's got that flash on it. Oh, uh, here is their uh, letterpress. So this is thick, soft linen paper, and it's actually got the, the writing pressed into it. And that's a really nice touch. It seems like the printing is done really crisp. Oh, and they've got the full color paper photo style. So you can use one of your engagement photos as the background. This one's done really nicely because we've got all of this space up here. So whenever you're looking at using an engagement photo for save the dates or a wedding invitation, you want to make sure that obviously you are in it, but you want to have a lot of empty space or available space for that writing to go on. So this is done very well because we've got all of that cloud space up top and then they're down at the bottom with a really nice focus on that contrast between their dark outfits and the nice bright sky. This one feels like the museum board and it's got a lot of foil on it and very like simple on the writing. I like that. So I think that that is everything that I got from Minted. All right. And the other one that I ordered from is Vistaprint. And as, as I said at the beginning of the video, there are so many printing options uh, from different printers that are out there. Um, if you're concerned about the amount of paper and the environment, the, the, how that's affecting the environment, which is a very valid concern, there are plenty of options out there. That's, there's one that I know called Paper Source, um, and they actually have a counterpart, which is Paperless Post, where you can do online only wedding invitations. Um, but Paper Source, um, they 100% source their paper from post consumer recycled material. So no trees are cut down in the process of making those invitations. Um, so if you are more eco-conscious about your paper choices for your wedding invitation set, then um, I think that they are a great option. There are others out there. So this one doesn't come in a box. It comes in an envelope. Uh, looks like the envelope has been kind of like creased a little bit here and there, but it's like the, the envelope itself is not totally creased. Um, feels like they've got some pretty stiff board in there to keep it from creasing. All right, and then on the inside of the envelope here, we've got two pockets with all kinds of stuff in there. So let's work our way through this. Okay, so Vistaprint has um, an offer code for 50%, up to 50% off of wedding stationary invitations and announcements using their code. So this is really nice because, I mean, like I said, the minted one comes with a 15% off, but it looks like Vistaprint is giving you a 50% off. Oh, look at that. They give you um, a timeline. So this is really nice and helpful. Uh, generally when you should be looking into ordering wedding invitations and stuff like that. Uh, this is going to be different for every person and every situation. Like uh, I could see this being really helpful for a traditional in-town wedding, but I am having a destination wedding. So that means that my timeline is going to be a little bit different. We wanna give everybody as much information as early as possible so that they know that they need to start planning if they want to attend the one um, in Mexico, or if they are going to uh, go a different route and just come to the in-town wedding. Then we wanna make sure that everybody knows all the information that they need, plenty of time in advance to save and schedule time off. So something that I'm seeing just comparing the two is that Minted did give me the, um, the sample cards with all those colors printed on it. And this looks like it's just a set of a bunch of different invitation sets. It does say, I believe, on the back of these, each of them. Yep, it says um, the paper stock and the size and everything. So you can see the details on the back there. So that helps to, to see what, what each of them are, but um, I really do appreciate all of those, those cards. So let's start with this one on top here. Looks like it's a save the date. The save the date itself 
It's got some nice raised metallic foil on it. It's a photo card, which I think that save the dates are a great opportunity to use your uh, engagement photos. Paid for them, so you might as well get some mileage out of them. And next, we've got a little bit more of a rustic design, um, just with that, that brown print on it, but very simple. And it looks like you could have gold foil on there, but this card does not. So they're kind of showing you what it looks like whenever it, you, you opt out of the foil, but it does have that on there. Um, and then here's one that's more of a linen card and it is a dinner menu. So yeah, that is everything from both of those uh, wedding invitation sample sets. And now I think that I am pretty well equipped to begin searching for my invitation set. All right, so I'm at my desk and I've got a few uh, stationary websites open, including Vistaprint and M Minted. Well, like I said, I'm doing this a little bit out of order here. Um, I wanted to show you guys a couple of invitation sets, um, sample sets. So normally what I would do is I would look on their website for a few designs. Um, and then because I like a few, then I will order their sample set. I won't order a sample set and then start looking at designs. All right, so this is Minted and I've gone to their wedding invitations section and they've got all kinds of ways that you can filter these. Uh, something that I like to do is looking specifically at photos because if you want photos in your wedding invitation set, then that's great, but I'm a little bit more traditional. I like photos on save the dates, but not on wedding invitations. So I'm going to put none here. Something else that I wanna do is by color because I know the colors of my wedding and which foils I would be interested in if I did one. So I'm going to say I want blue, I want red, white, black and white are good, black's good. And then as far as this, I kind of want to do a yellow gold. I don't think I want to do glittery gold because I think that that's just a little bit too much. So we'll say done here. And we've already narrowed it down to 15 pages out of the however many it was originally. So I can kind of continue to go down and uh, just briefly look at these and see if there's any that are kind of my favorite. And click into, let's see the first one. It's very simple, minimalist. We've got foil on there. Ooh, I love that burgundy. Because burgundy is part of my wedding colors. I like that they've got this whole like preview bit where you can see it kind of in the light back and forth. Try to schedule when you're looking at these around a holiday of some sort that's really known for shopping, such as Black Friday. They've got a couple of different silhouette shapes so you can get it cut or the rounded edge. The rounded edge looks nice, but uh, it's an extra $35, so I would just stick with the edges there. So for 100 invitations, it would be $278, and that is not including um, trying to go with different paper types. So again, going back to that sample set that I got, I can see all of those different paper types, but it adds a significant amount of money to it if you do, say, the Lux Museum Board. That is almost doubling the price just based on the, the paper that you're getting. And then you can see that you can add different, um, different items here. So you can have the foil pressed RSVP cards. So if I got another one of those, that's 203 there. Uh, if you want reception cards, I want 100 of those. There we go. So then that total cost here, $702. Um, again, there's, it's nice to, to have a, an idea of how much you're going to spend per invitation style. So this is one option. Let's go back to my favorites and see some of the others here. So this one does have a little bit of foil detail on it at the bottom there. It's got a little bit of an abstract watercolor style. If I'm trying to save money, which I am, then I'm not that concerned about adding these liners to the envelopes because the envelopes immediately go into the trash. So there are some things that you can definitely save a little bit of money on but it looks like this one is actually a little bit more expensive with the reception cards and RSVP cards. So again, getting an idea of how much you're gonna be spending. This doesn't have any um, 
codes applied to it yet, but if you're thinking about spending a thousand dollars on invitations, it, it can get up there pretty quick. I like the diamond pattern. Again, I'm not so much on the florals around. I mean, there's pretty foil on there. Again, I like that dark background though. It just kind of like has a lot to it, feels like. So this one is less expensive than the other two sets. This is only $661 um, for the, the full set that I really want. Shine, it's got the metallic foil along the edge here. Uh, looks like this is again 278. Uh, we've got the navy blue, which is part of my wedding colors, and then the yellow gold. It's a very classic combination. We've got the imitation suite here. So again, this one is a little bit less expensive. So that's the 661. Don't fall in love with one design. Look around at the website and see if there's different ones that you can try out. I'm not fully in love with any one of these designs. I really like this one the best, I think, but let's move into Vistaprint and check them out. So we can shop wedding invitations at Vistaprint. I'll check back with you whenever I have a few designs to look at here. All right, so I'm back. I've got five favorites from Vistaprint here. Um, and while I wasn't as impressed with their samples, I really enjoy a lot of their designs. So let's look through some of these here and we can see if any of them really catch my eye more than the others. I'm gonna leave it at the, the original text here, but I can see that there's plenty of room for me to add all the invitation information that I want. I've reviewed and approved my design. Next. Now obviously they're making you say this because they're like, hey, you don't have any text on there, but I'm just looking at the prices real quick. I'm going to add the RSVP cards, and add the reception cards, and I'm gonna change the quantity to 100 for each of them. Looks like the prices on these are a little bit less than what was on um, Minted. Yeah, you see the, the total product here is like almost half of the le least expensive one that you could get uh, elsewhere. And I have, you know, some add-ins on the browser that will try, you know, codes and stuff to, to try and give me a better deal. But like I said, the Vistaprint um, thing came with a 50% off code, but it's already less expensive than the other ones. Let's look at this design. This is a very classic looking design with a little bit of greenery on it. So again, it's it's that 36013. It looks like it's a pretty standard price. Um, I think that this design looks really nice and simple and classic. Uh, it's still not quite what I'm wanting for myself, so I'm going to remove these from the cart. Now this next one is one that I really liked the idea of. This has like a little bit more of like a watercolor marble effect on the back. Um, to be honest, I don't think that this one is, is the one for me, but I'm really liking this design. So let's look at this one. Yeah, it's got that kind of art deco style to it. Again, it's got that dark burgundy color, but I'm really liking this kind of look and texture to it. Well, I like that artist because it's got that color on it again, because it's not just the text, it's, it's a nice bit of color on there. So we'll add that, and then we will add this. And again, a nice dark color to it. Again, this is looking like it's the same price scaling. Yep, so that's the 36013. Even with white envelopes, I think that that'll look really nice. This seems to be the front runner. Let's look at Paper Source. And I will look through these and see if there are any favorites that I can come up with here. But we've got a few different options with um, different styles of paper. So let's look at this one. And it's interesting, it looks like it's designed by Neil Lane, which is kind of cool, it's a famous designer. But it's got very much like a, a, a deco, simple, blocky lines, geometric um, style. And we've got the RSVP card and the information card. So we've got the wedding invitation, the white envelopes that go with it. They're 50 cents a piece. Total is $1,000 for all of this. Um, to be honest, I think that this is a little bit too expensive for what I'm getting here. So this one has that shiny pearlescent paper. Um, I can't say that it's the same paper that we saw from Minted, but you know, it looks like it's that similar kind of finish. That is the downside of not ordering a sample set from um, Paper Source, is that I don't get to see the actual paper or see the actual colors in person. We're going to add a response card and an information card. We're going to personalize these. 
Okay, so this one is a little bit less expensive. Um, even though it's got the pearlescent paper, uh, it's $743 again. Look for codes, look for sales. Still significantly more expensive than just a print. Um, so let's check out one more design. All right, so we're at the Gilded Marble Wedding Invitation. I like this one because it, again, has kind of that like um, foil to it, I think. Um, it's hard to tell online, of course, unless you're in person, but I like that it has plenty of room for writing on here. And let's say we need a response and information card. Okay, so it is foil stamped. So this one is still less than the first one that we saw on Paper Source here. Uh, it's only $717 for the set, but again, that is $717 that's going towards invitations. And this, of course, is not taking into account what you're going to be spending on stamps and all the time that's going to go into assembling these and, um, you know, mailing them off, writing out addresses and all of that. So I think that this is an item that people tend not to think about until it's time to make invitations and they're a little bit surprised by how expensive invitations can be. I think that I found the one that I really want to use. Uh, hopefully in a future video you will see me unboxing these cards and I'll show you how to assemble wedding invitations because there's just so many pieces of paper that go into this set. You, you want to make sure that they're in there in the right order. So thanks for wedding invitation shopping with me. Uh, that was really informative to me, and I hope that it was informative to you. And uh, if it was, please give a like down below and subscribe. The question of the day is, did you know that you can order sample sets from these uh, printers for free? Um, if so, have you ordered any for yourself? Uh, from where? And what was the quality like? Uh, if not, then I encourage you to order these if you are working on planning invitations for any event. Uh, it can be a wedding, but you can also use this for, you know, whatever you're planning, any other kind of event that you're gonna be doing paper invitations for. To be honest, I don't do paper invitations for anything other than super formal events, but hey, you know, you might do it for a birthday party or something like that. Um, it's a great way to look at the quality of what is available without having to go to an in-person store, like a stationary store. Um, and a lot of times you'll get really good deals online. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.